Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about a hearing device. Hearing device is designed to amplify sound for the wearer, usually with the aim of making speech more intelligible and to correct impaired hearing as measured by audiometry. It comes in varied types, which serve different purposes. When we are talking about hearing device, we often refer to hearing aids, but there are other devices which help people with more special cases such as cochlear damage or middle ear damage. Before digging into hearing device, I want to talk about some facts about hearing loss. In Canada, more than 1 million adults reported having a hearing-related disability. One in five teenagers have some degree of hearing loss. Untreated hearing loss can cause embarrassment, such as stress, tension, and fatigue. So, how hearing loss happen? Our auditory system is a complex network that transduces pressure gradients caused by sound vibration into neuroelectrical energy in the central nervous system. So any problem in auditory system can lead to hearing difficulty or deafness. So let's take a look at the structure of the auditory system. Auditory system consists of three main structures, outer ear, middle ear, and inner ear. Outer ear has spinner, ear canal, and ear drum. The spinner generally produced to make it easier to capture sound well. This captured well are then transmitted by the spinner down the ear canal and struck the ear drum. As seen in the graph, middle ear is made of three small bones, hammer, anvil, and stirrup. When the sound well struck the ear drum, it will generate vibration. The vibration will be transmitted into inner ear by the three bones in the middle ear. As seen in the following video, this three bone works closely to make this transmission smooth. So, in general, when sound well comes, pinna will collect them, then they will funnel down to eardrum through ear canal. Eardrum transfers the sound well into vibration and transmits it to inner ear through three small bones in the middle ear, hammer, annual, and stirrup. In the inner ear, vibration travels through the fluid in the cochlea and vibrates the hair cells. Hair cells transfer it into electrical signal and send it to the brain. Now we know how the auditory system works, let's talk about hearing loss. The common hearing loss can be divided into three different types. Conductive hearing loss, sensory neural hearing loss, and mixed hearing loss. Conductive hearing loss occurs when the sound is not conducted efficiently through the outer ear canal to the eardrum and the tiny bones of the middle ear. It causes reduction in sound level or the ability to hear fat sounds. Sensory neural hearing loss occurs when uh, there is damage to the inner ear or to the neural pathways from the inner ear to the brain. It also reduces the ability to hear fat sounds. Mixed hearing loss is a combination of a conductive hearing loss and a sensory neural hearing loss. It's uh, damaging both outer or middle ear and in the inner ear or auditory nerve. Now everyone has a basic understanding about uh, hearing loss and uh, how the auditory system functions. Let's talk about the types of hearing aids. Hearing aids can be divided into analog hearing aids and digital hearing aids. Analog hearing aids makes a continuous sound well louder. It's a program well, because it has a small microchip inside, so people can adjust uh, their hearing aids to uh, fit different environments. Digital hearing aids has all the features of uh, analog hearing aids, um, but instead of uh, simply ampli amplifying the sound, it converts the sound well into digital signal for further process, such as uh, noise reduction, so it has um, greater flexibility to suit all the hearing needs. There are three uh, different models of hearing aids in the market. As shown in the slides, there are in the canal aids, completely in the canal aids. 
in the year S and the behind the year S. And now we have a mini behind the years, which is much smaller than the traditional behind the year S. In the canal S and the completely in the canal S are contained in a tiny cast and fits partly or completely into the ear canal. They are the smallest ad available and offer some cosmetic and listening advantages. For the inner ear S, all parts of the ads are contained in a shield and face into the outer part of the ear. These ads are larger than canal ads and for some people may be easier to handle than smaller ads. All parts of the behind the ear ads are contained in a small plastic case that rests behind the ear. The case is connected to a ear mode by a piece of clear tubing. This style is often chosen for young children for safety and growth reasons. Now let's talk about how the hearing aids works. Hearing aids has five key components, microphone, microchip, amplifier, battery, and receiver. First of all, uh, the microphone, which is located at the outside of the ear, pick up the sound wave, then convert the sound wave into digital signal. The amplifier will strengthen the digital signal and uh, pass it to the speaker. The speaker then converts the digital signal um, back to the vibration and pass it to the ear. There is also a microchip located in the hearing aids which help patients to personalize the hearing aids to individual needs. Also, there are uh, some other hearing devices help the people with more special needs, such as the bone anchored hearing aids, implantable middle ear hearing device, and uh, cochlear implants. The cochlear implants provide hearing in patients that are deaf because of the damage in sensory hair cell in the cochlear. It produces useful hearing sensation by electrically simulating nerve inside the inner ear. It contains two main components, external component and the internal component. External component uh, has microphone, sound processor, and a transmitter system. It receives uh, sound well and transfers it into digital signal and process it, then translates signal into the internal components. Internal component is the implanted receiver and the electrode system. It receives the signal uh, from external components and uses this signal to simulate the auditory nerve. Implantable middle ear hearing device is a small device that are typically attached to the one of the tiny bones in the middle ear. It's used for the people with uh, damage in the middle ear, which is uh, sensory nerve hearing loss. Bone anchored hearing aid is for the people with a severe middle ear or outer ear damage. It consists of two main components, external part which converts sound into vibration and the implanted part which uh, is surgically attached to the school bone behind the ear, transmitted the vibration to the inner ear of the school. By 2012, the hearing device market was $5.4 billion. The top six uh, company uh, in the market is uh, Sonova, which is 24%. William Diamond, which is 23%, Siemens, which is 17%, GN Star Nord, which is 16%, Stargate Technologies, which is 16%, and Widedex, which is 9%. These six companies account 98% um, of the market. Here is all the references I use in this uh, presentation.